In order to apply the CUDA condition in a theoretical analysis, we need to be more precise about the nature of the flow at the trailing edge. The trailing edge can have a finite angle as shown in figures 1 and 2 and as sketched at the left of figure 3. Or it can be cusped, as shown at the right of figure 3. First, consider the trailing edge with a finite angle, as shown at the left of figure 3. Denote the velocities along the top surface and the bottom surface as V1 and V2, respectively. V1 is parallel to the top surface at point A. V2 is parallel to the bottom surface at point A. For the finite angle trailing edge, if these velocities were finite at point A, then we would have two velocities in two different directions at the same point, as shown at the left of figure 3. However, this is not physically possible, and the only recourse is for both V1 and V2 to be zero at point A. That is, for the finite trailing edge, point A is a stagnation point where V1 equals V2 equals zero. In contrast, for the cusped trailing edge shown at the right of figure 3, V1 and V2 are in the same direction at point A, and hence both V1 and V2 can be finite. However, the pressure at point A, P2, is a single unique value, and Bernoulli's equation applied at both the top and bottom surfaces immediately adjacent to point A yields. Hence, for the cusped trailing edge, we see that the velocities leaving the top and bottom surfaces of the airfoil at the trailing edge are finite and equal in magnitude and direction. We can summarize the statement of the CUDA condition as follows. 1. For a given airfoil at a given angle of attack, the value of around the airfoil is such that the flow leaves the trailing edge smoothly. 2. If the trailing edge angle is finite, then the trailing edge is a stagnation point. 3. If the trailing edge is cusped, then the velocities leaving the top and bottom surfaces at the trailing edge are finite and equal in magnitude and direction. Consider again the philosophy of simulating the airfoil with vortex sheets placed either on the surface or on the camber line. The strength of such a vortex sheet is variable along the sheet and is denoted by gogom s. The statement of the cutta condition in terms of the vortex sheet is as follows. At the trailing edge, TE. However, for the finite angle trailing edge, V1 equals V2 equals 0. Hence, from equation 1, gamma T equal to 0. For the cusp trailing edge, V1 equals V2 not equal 0. Hence, from equation 1, we again obtain the result that gamma T equal equals 0. Therefore, the cut condition expressed in terms of the strength of the vortex sheet is gum te equals zero 